Today is a really important day for me. I don't want any of our guests here to die of coronavirus. I don't. If any group get overlooked, it's the people who come and eat with us and share with us. And they're the people I love. And my worry is that somehow one of these people living out on the street or in a boarding house or somewhere will catch the virus and because they've got so many illnesses, they'll die. So that to have the health department come here and screen everybody is a big thing and it will hopefully save lives. I'm from Sydney Local Health District. Um, today we're doing um, uh, COVID testing in the um, Exodus Foundation and the purpose really is to just make people feel secure about um, how well they are because there's a lot of anxiety in the community. So what will be happening is people will come in through the door, they'll be screened, so people will be asked a series of easy questions about whether they've got any respiratory issues, they'll have their temperature taken. Thirty-six three. Oh, Fantastic. <laughs> That's all right. Thanks. They'll be asked if they're feeling well, and uh, our nurses will be looking at those people. And then, if they are well, which we're expecting most people will be, um, then they will go through. They'll get one of our special health packs, which includes some um, tissues and some hand washing and some toothpaste and toothbrushes and, and an Easter egg as well. And the idea is that uh, then they, they go out. If, however, they require to um, be swabbed or tested, then they go through this other way. And they can have, uh, on site here, they can have their nose swabbed by our expert nursing team. So can you just have a seat with Kevin? Hey, Stephanie, I'm Hello. Kevin. Kevin. That's it. Okay, all done. We've got tissues for you. And then, um, then they will be interviewed by our social work team to make sure that they have the ability to self-isolate, which means to be, until the tests come through, that they're able to be out of contact with anybody else, social distancing, um, and hopefully having access to their own bathroom. If people need to be self-isolated, we have um, a range of health hotels in Sydney Local Health District where people can go um, and be quarantined um, and checked by nurses every day um, to make sure that they're well. Um, and those are, are sort of nice accommodation with en-suites and so on. And that means that people won't have to be in the community and sort of self-isolating in the community, which can be very challenging for some people. So we can ring and they will, um, they will come and pick people up and take them to this accommodation and they can stay there and have all their meals, everything um, done for them over those two weeks while they get over their COVID um, problem. Flu shots in a time of coronavirus. We do it every year. But this year is a lot different. Last year and the years before, we were all able to huddle up and do it all properly. This year, we've got to have social distancing. We've got to have the hand washing. We've got to check everybody's well enough, all of those sorts of things. Because we don't want anybody to die of the flu. We don't. And then on top of that, get coronavirus. Now, people are coming from the community here. We've had a queue, like they're two metres apart, all the way down the road. We've got the guys from Who's have turned up now, so that um, they will all be safe now at Who's. They're all in lockdown. So for them to come out of lockdown to get a flu shot so, so it shows how important it is. I'm from Who's, the rehab down the road. We just come down in a little convoy with all the boys in different vans and um, yeah, we're all down here to get our flu shot. We're all like in lockdown, in isolation from the um, COVID-19 thing. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's been a bit of a, a bit of a hard road for us, but yeah, we all we all get together and we all, you know, we're all one good community in there, and we all pull together and it's going all right. Yeah. This is where everybody's getting their flu shot. New South Wales Health are here, and so everything is organised properly. They come in through there, sign the forms, come over there, um, sit down, get questioned, get their flu shot. Um, get checked off, then walk out and get a cup of coffee. Now this has been going on for
for hours. What we try and do is make sure that every person, no matter what their status in life, can get a flu shot, because nobody deserves to die in this sort of environment that we've got today.